The suspected shooter in the New York City subway attack is behind bars. Officers nabbed 62 year old Frank R. James in Manhattan this afternoon. He's charged with setting off smoke grenades in a crowded subway car yesterday and then firing into that crowd. TNTV's Kiana Deitch is live in studio tonight to explain his connection to Ohio. Kiana. Andrew, the ATF says the suspect, Frank R. James, purchased the gun used in the shooting in 2011 at a Columbus area pawn shop. Investigators say this investigation is just getting started. 33 shots inside a subway train. Less than 30 hours after police say Frank R. James shot up the train in New York City, He's in custody, named as a suspect. Police arrested him just before 2 p.m. Wednesday in Manhattan. We were able to shrink his world quickly. There was nowhere left for him to run. The 62-year-old is known to police with ties to several states, including Ohio. Police say James purchased the 9mm gun used in the attack from a Columbus area pawn shop in 2011. Harry Trombitis is a retired FBI agent who lives in central Ohio. And it sounds like um, it was a legal purchase. Trombitis says the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms linked the gun to Ohio by the firearms transaction record or the ATF 4473 form. Whenever uh, a citizen wants to purchase a firearm from a uh, licensed firearms dealer, they have to fill out this form and uh, that information then is sent to the FBI. Background check is run, see if uh, the person qualifies, doesn't have any serious felonies or anything that would preclude him from purchasing a weapon. And in this case? Apparently Mr. James, at least at the time, uh, did not have a criminal history that would keep him from legally owning a firearm. He came to the location um, wanting to create and, and cause as much damage as he possibly could. So the question now is what connection does James have to Columbus other than the fact that he bought the gun in the Columbus area 11 years ago. We did go to what public records show as his address in Columbus back then and there was no police activity or anyone around for us to speak with. Andrew. Kiana, thank you. Frank R. James is facing federal terror offenses. If convicted, he could face life in prison.